Hey guys, this is my review on the Vantech ladder rack or roof rack. I bought it directly from Vantech out of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I bought it for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, I, I'm under the impression that it's a American made product. So that says quality to me. Uh, it also says uh, better customer service here in the States. And the other reason I bought it is because the crossbars come in lengths of up to, I think, 84 inches. Uh, I bought it to transport kayaks on, and most kayak racks are not going to be that wide. I actually purchased the 72 inch, so I can lay down my larger kayak side by side. Um, the crossbars that I bought are steel crossbars. The description says that they are galvanized and powder coated for superior protection. Um, if you have any uh, previous knowledge of things that are galvanized and powder coated, they should last for many, many years and uh, still look good. So these aren't them. Let me show you my crossbars that I installed five months ago and haven't even used. I installed them in the fall, and because of the cold weather, they have not been used. Nothing's been on these. Uh, both the front and back are they are completely rusted. Uh, keep in mind, I put this on my 2016 Chevy Colorado that I spent quite a bit for the, uh, the fiberglass Lear cap on the top. Something that I actually had to put eight holes into. And I was fine doing that because I figured it would last for many, many years. But as you can see, uh, in less than five months, they are completely rusted. They look horrible. And they're actually getting worse day by day. So I called the company, and I thought what they would say is, I'm sorry, we will send you a new set of crossbars. They do have a one-year warranty, I believe. Yeah, at least one year. So I first tried to contact them through their website and got no response. So then I called their sales number and uh, he says he wasn't able to help me, but he gave me a couple email addresses. I contacted them a few times and got no response. So I contacted the sales company again, or the, the sales department, and uh, he was great. He acted as a middleman, but here's my problem. Besides the lack of, of uh, cooperation when I'm trying to contact them, their only solution was, they gave me two, pay to ship these 72 inch steel crossbars back to Brooklyn, New York from Wisconsin, and buy their more expensive aluminum crossbars and pay to have those shipped from Brooklyn, Wisconsin to, or, excuse me, Brooklyn, New York to Wisconsin. Um, and they, they chose the shipping and it wasn't cheap. Um, their other option was pay to ship these back to Brooklyn and then pay to ship the exact same pieces of junk back to Wisconsin. So, I expressed my displeasure with them and explained to them that I don't think that's very good business practice, that they have a defective product, and uh, now why should I have to pay all the shipping back and forth, and I didn't even oppose paying the upgrade to uh, these aluminum bars, that's fine, whatever. But the response back was, well, we can't take a loss. Well, guess what? You're taking a lawsuit because I will never use you again because I think you sell inferior products and your customer service is worthless. So Vantech, you did take a loss. I won't be buying from you anymore. And I'm sure this video may sway some people to reconsider buying from you as well. So I'm going to install these aluminum ones that I paid the up charge for and paid to ship them to me. And I'm going to package these up 
to pay to have those shipped back. And I had to pay full price for these actually. They told me I would get credit for these once they received them. I hope that's the case. I hope that's not uh, as big of a problem as trying to get in touch with their customer service. So, Vantech, you've lost at least one customer, so you did in fact take a loss. I would reconsider your customer service policies. Ben at Vantech, thank you for acting as a mediator. You did fine. Good job.